I wanted to address this. This has been a video I've wanted to do for a while, but I, I didn't want to do it because I don't want it to come across the wrong way. But I think that for some people, the expectations of electric bikes, scooters, electric motorcycles, and in particular, the electric motorcycles, is that the quality and the grade of materials that these are made of is to be that of um, a gas motorcycle that is fifteen thousand dollars plus or eight thousand some of the the smaller ones so here's the truth is that these are not your top quality grade metals brakes um all those components they're just not um even the plastic um like on the zones and the towels, if you tighten them too too much, they, they break. And that seems to be, they, they're coming off more than like say an emo hornet or whatever. But that's the, that's, that's the truth. I got to put that out there that um, you have to allow one for some um, imperfections um, on the paint. Um, sometimes a mark here or there, whether it's tra transportation from China or it's transportation from the the supplier and then transportation to you like it happens along the way there's that um and so and i'm not saying that you should have to you, you have to have your uh, some dealers are going to oh i gotta answer that anyways yes just to conclude on that uh anyways so if you have your listen we have a very high expectation of quality as well but we also have a little bit of lenience of um some things just because, like I said, the shipping from here to there to there to there, and the fact that, I mean, this stuff is all from China. Uh, brake pads, for example, um, bikes, as soon as they get a little bit of moisture, they're squealing. Um, I'm not saying that it's accept acceptable, but what I'm saying is it, it is part of the expectations of buying e bikes So don't kill me on this, e on this video. Uh, I just put it out there, let's have a discussion, but I just, want to say that, well, I'll say what I said. <laughs>